welcome back. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. This is gonna be, I'm pretty sure I say that every time, probably gonna be usual for this channel, who knows. Today I'm gonna be doing my entry for the NYX Face Awards, which is the first one in Australia, so woohoo, look out. There have been so many great entries already, so I thought I would do my look to be a little bit Australian themed, and because we do have such incredible sea life and so much ocean, I thought I would do a sea queen mermaid look. So for this look, I will also be using a crown, a couple of prosthetics, and I'm gonna be doing webbed fingers that I will not be showing you in this video how to make. So if you would like to see how they're made, let me know, and I will get a bit around to doing a video for you guys. Let's get started. So for my base, I've just applied some blue and white face paint with my just regular foundation. And I'm just applying that all over my face for quite a full coverage look. Now it was at this point that I'd already realized that I'd made my first mistake. You ever get way too excited about doing your makeup and forget that you need to put something on before you put the foundation on? I do. So before you want to go any, oh, there's a hair. Before you want to go any further, you want to take, these are my Gill prosthetics that I made. So that's the Gill prosthetic. I'm just gonna apply them here, just with a little bit of adhesive and then I'll paint over the top of them. So just with a sponge, I'm applying adhesive to my neck and also the back of the prosthetic. You wanna wait for them to dry on both places before you try and attach it, as they will not stick otherwise. Always patch test things before you put them on yourself as well, guys, in case you do have a reaction. Now, just with some dark teal eyeshadow and a small brush, I'm just going ahead and lining out where I want my makeup to go. I'm going for a kind of deep eye look so I line quite high above my eyebrow and then smudge the eyeshadow and blend it all the way down until just above my eyelid. For my nose, I'm just creating two points at the top of my nostrils and then bringing that down to a V at the base of my nose and then blending that out so there's no sharp lines. With that same eyeshadow, I'm just smudging it all over my lips, creating quite a messy look. And then with a black eyeshadow as well, going in on the very inside of my mouth just to darken and deepen it and almost give it a bit of an ombre effect. Now with a matte yellow eyeshadow, I'm just going in and putting that about halfway across my top and bottom eyelid and the corner of your eye. Now with the matte orange eyeshadow, I'm just going in from the end of the yellow and almost to the back of my eyelid and just bringing it above the yellow a little bit as well. Now with some matte red, I'm just bringing it in at the corner of my eyes and kind of elongating the eyeshadow. Now just with a blending brush, going through and blending it out a little bit. As I felt like I'd lost a fair bit of the pigment while blending it out, I've just gone back in with my fingers and applying just some more color onto the eyeshadow just to make the eyes really pop. Now with a liquid eyeliner, it's time to get our cat eye look on. And now that we've got one side done, it's time to pray to the eyeliner gods and hope that they'll make both wings even. Just add a little bit of shading under the cheekbones just to give your face some structure so it doesn't look like a moon. It was at that moment that I'd realized that I had forgotten to paint one of my double chin. So I just want to touch that up. Damn girl, that chin is sexy. Now with just a blending brush and a light green, I'm just going in and adding a bit of a widow's peak just to add a bit of shape to my face. Now with that same green, I'm just going over the top of the gills just to add a little bit of color to them as well as a darker green underneath just to make it look like they actually go into my skin. Now just with a gray, I'm going in and defining my neck and collarbones just to give my body a little bit more detail so I don't just look like a green blue mass. Now just going in and applying the falsies because who doesn't love falsies? Now with six pearls on both sides, you just want to bedazzle the tops of your cheekbones. And now I'm gonna say a highlighter, but I think we all know that this is just gold eyeshadow because I don't own a highlighter. We're just gonna highlight all of the high points on our face, the nose, the top of the lips, the cheeks, a little bit above our brows and a little bit of our chin just to make it pop, as well as the collarbones and a little bit of that ridge in the neck. For the webbed fingers, I have just pulled apart a tissue to make it single ply and just fully coated it in latex and let it dry before cutting out the shapes that I wanted and then stuck it to my finger with some adhesive and painted my entire hand and arm. So now you just need to take your hair out and put your crown on and enjoy being a mermaid. So there we are guys, Ooh, put that one away, so there we are guys, that is the finished look. This is my entry into the NYX Face Awards for Australia, Australia, Australia. So if you guys liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep updated with all my looks coming up, don't forget to subscribe, sneak it back in again. Don't forget to subscribe down the bottom. Actually, it might be over here. here. There's one in the corner anyway. And I'll see you next time. Bye.